in this video we are going to talk about atresia atresia is an abnormal condition in which an orifice or a passage in the body is closed or absent there are several types of atresia esophageal atresia is a congenital medical condition that affects the alimentary tract esophagus is the tube that connects the mouth to the stomach it causes the esophagus to end in a blind ended pouch rather than connecting normally to the stomach it is a birth defect in which part of baby's esophagus does not develop properly there are several types of esophageal atresia another type is vaginal atresia the vagina is a muscular canal connecting the cervix of the uterus to the vulva it is a condition in which the vagina is abnormally closed or absent it is caused due to imperforate hymen in female infants there is normally a thin membrane that is hymen which surrounds the vaginal opening in rare conditions a congenital vaginal blockage occurs due to an imperforate hymen therefore the vaginal opening remains covered typically the creation of the vaginal canal is completed within the fetus by the 20th week of gestation researchers believe in patient with vaginal atresia tubes known as the mullerian ducts do not develop correctly within the first 20 weeks of gestation that is pregnancy typically one of these ducts develops in the fallopian tubes while the other ducts developed into the vagina and uterus vaginal atresia is found to occur when the urogenital sinus does not contribute to the formation of the lower portion of the vagina another type is oral atresia it is a congenital deformity where the ear canal is underdeveloped microtia is a congenital deformity where the pinna that is external ear is underdeveloped a completely undeveloped pinna is referred to as anotia because microtia and anotia have the same origin it can be referred to as microtia anotia microtia can be unilateral that is one side only or bilateral affecting both sides microtia occurs in one out of about 8000 to 10000 birds in unilateral microtia the right ear is most commonly affected another type is coanal atresia blockage of the back of the nasal passage usually by abnormal bony or soft tissue coanal atresia is a congenital disorder where the back of the nasal passage is blocked coanal atresia is caused by problems with the development of the nasal cavity and the palate coanal atresia is fairly rare it may have a frequency between 1 in 7000 births and 1 in 5000 births another type is biliary atresia also known as a extra hepatic ductopenias it is a childhood disease of the liver in which one or more bile ducts are abnormally narrow blocked or absent biliary atresia is most common in east asia with a frequency of 1 in 5000 the cause of biliary atresia in most infants is not fully understood and it is well possible that a number of factors may play a role but especially maternal rotavirus infection during pregnancy and subsequent transmission of the virus to the child resulting in infection of the biliary epithelium and subsequent occluding fibrosis some cases of biliary atresia may result from exposure to aflatoxin b1 
and to a lesser extent aflatoxin B2 during late pregnancy. Another type of atresia is intestinal atresia. It is a broad term used to describe a complete blockage or obstruction anywhere in the intestine. The malformation can be narrowing that is stenosis or absence or malrotation of a portion of the intestine. These defects can either occur in the small or large intestine. The most prominent symptom of intestinal atresia is a bilious vomiting soon after birth. This is most common in jejunal atresia. Intestinal atresia may be classified by its location. Patients may have intestinal atresia in multiple locations like duodenal atresia, malformation of the duodenum part of the intestine that empties from the stomach and first section of the small intestine. Jejunal atresia, which is a malformation of the jejunum. Jejunum is the second part of the small intestine extending from the duodenum to the ileum that causes the jejunum to block blood flow to the colon. The another type is ileal atresia, which is a malformation of the ileum which is the lower part of the small intestine. Colon atresia is a malformation of the colon. Another type is follicular atresia. It is a degeneration and resorption of the ovarian follicles. It is the breakdown of ovarian follicle, also called as graphene follicle. Here you can see histological architecture of graphene follicle. Graphene follicle consists of an oocyte surrounded by granulosa cells and internal and external theca cells. It occurs continually throughout a woman's life as they are born with a millions of follicles but will only ovulate around 400 times in their lifetime. Typically around 20 follicles mature each month but only a single follicle is ovulated. The follicle from which the oocyte was released becomes the corpus luteum. The rest undergo atresia. Undergoing follicular atresia is necessary in order for women to maintain a healthy reproductive system. Another type is imperforate anus. It is a malformation of the opening between the rectum and anus. An imperforate anus or anorectal malformations that is ARMS are birth defects in which the rectum is malformed. When an infant is born with an anorectal malformation, it is usually detected quickly as it is a very obvious defect. Doctors will then determine the type of birth defect the child was born with and whether or not there are any associated malformations. Imperforate anus has an estimated incidence of 1 in 5000 births. It affects boys and girls with similar frequency. However, imperforate anus will present as the low version 90% of the time in females and 50% of the time in males. Another type is pulmonary atresia. It is a congenital malformation of pulmonary valve in which the valve orifice fails to develop. The valve is completely closed thereby obstructing the outflow of blood from the heart to the lungs. The pulmonary valve is located on the right side of the heart between the right ventricle and pulmonary artery. In a normal functioning heart, the opening of the pulmonary valve has three flaps that open and close. I hope you understood well. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Do like, comment and share this video. Have a happy learning.